Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about Epicor Session Management and User Session Log. So Epicor Session Management and User Session Log reports are tools that you can use to review the status and previous login slash logouts for Epicor users. The Session Management menu item is new in Epicor 10.2.500 while the User Session Log report goes back to at least 10.1.600. Here I've listed the general topics that I'll be covering today and the following slides will give more detail about each individual topic. I'll be covering what is session management, what is the user session log report, where to find these items in Epicor, and a look at the session management screen and setting company maintenance to track system activities and then I'll look at the user session log report. Once we cover these topics, they'll, it's ready for everyone to get to know more about Epicor session management and user session log report. I'm show, showing the examples in Epicor version 10.2.500. Session management is an Epicor maintenance menu item used to manage user sessions and is only available to security managers and global security managers. The program displays key fields which show information for all existing and currently not timed out sessions. You can review the session information and delete sessions that are no longer needed or to limit the number of sessions for users if you are experiencing license constraints. So what is the user session log report? You'll use this report to review how often all users or a specific user access the Epicor ERP application. You can input a date range and can filter to select either all users or a list of specific users. The report will show the log on and log off date and time record for each time the user accessed the Epicor application. Run this report to help conduct an audit or identify problems with database security. Note that for Epicor Cloud users the program may not be available or may operate under different restrictions. Where can you find these items in Epicor. Both of these items can be found under the system setup and then the security maintenance menu folder. Here I've shown the paths using the Metro view in Epicor and the Kinetics view in Epicor. You can also use the search function to find the menu items. Let's take a look at the session management screen here. This top picture shows a few users logged in and the specific information for each user. The session type shows the type of license, for example, a default user, a web service, time and expense user, etc. Next, the login ID, then the login name, when they were last active, and yes or no for consuming a license. Checked means yes. You can refresh this screen or delete users from this screen. The bottom picture shows how you can select a row and choose the delete toolbar button to delete the session. Notice the warning box shown with the yellow exclamation point. On the user end they will receive a message such as shown with the server side error message above. customer also shared the fact that .NET IT also has a product that is a menu usage tracker which digs deeper into which menu items each user is accessing. Possibly Epicor will have this in a future version or Code of Bears can maybe also develop that if you have the desire or need for a menu usage tracker. Next we'll look at setting the company maintenance to track system activities. In order to use the user session log report, you need to turn on the settings shown here to track system activities. 
Be aware this will track all log on and log off items for all users and also changes to the company record and log on failures. Realize you may not always want to keep this item turned on. So here is a look at the user session log report. This is a sample output of the report for the user session log. As you can see, I filtered to show three users. I have logged in as the user Karen and the user test when I ran the report. The last time we had turned on tracking for system activities was on 2620, so all of the log on log off dates and times show that date. In addition, since I did not log in as manager on 224, after checking the box for system activities, the last log on time sh shown is also 2620. So the session management menu item and user session log report are easy to use tools to review the status of the user sessions at the current time and in the past. Make sure to turn on the system activity tracking and company maintenance before using the user session log report. You will want to make sure to turn that setting off when you don't want to be tracking things. The session management can be very helpful to view who may be logging into many multiple sessions and let you log users out as needed. Use these tools to help you get to know your user sessions. Thank you and have a good day.